Hey everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Premium Firewood, coming to you live on Monday, June 10th, 2024. Hey Mike, you want to throw some gas in there? I, I haven't put it in there in a while. Let's make sure we don't run out. So just the, the, the can's right around the corner there. Yeah, I better, better put some gas in there. But anyway, back to the video, the live stream. Mike just uh, brought... Another load of this uh, mostly dry, semi-seasoned oak. There is some cherry in here. <laughs> oh, one piece of cherry. And he's going to be splitting it into these two wheelbarrows. While I move it over here and stack it, we're going to fill up. Probably this load will fill up this rack right here. Maybe start into there. Once we get this corner filled in, then we get to throw everything in, which is, which is a lot easier, ain't it, Mike? Yeah. Mike's going to go ahead and, yeah, I, I meant to do this before we got started, but we're going to get some of that regular gasoline in there. I don't, I don't use, uh, I don't use, um, the, uh, non-ethanol gas. I, I do that for, for the saw. So does Mike. Oh, yeah. Look what shirt Mike's wearing, Mountain Top Outdoors. Hey, it. there's the Rogala. I was going to wear brass, but I couldn't find brass shirts to put it in the closet. Oh, who'd you help out, uh, Saturday, Mike? Eric, outdoors with Eric. Outdoors with Eric. I wonder if Rogala's seen you in the video. Rogala wants to meet Eric someday. Eric's a nice guy. He really yeah. is. Yep. Yeah. So he does good work there. But, yeah, Mike cut all the trees out before he uh, went through there with. Uh, Another mulcher on his face. Yeah. That thing was awesome. That, that should be good. How much is left in there? About half or less? Oh, yeah, about that. Okay. All right. right there for now. Okay. It'll be fine there. All right, yeah. So I'm going to get you guys over here on the tripod. What we got going on today, Mike, you can go ahead and fire it up and get going. Uh-oh. Give it. Ah, get those out of your way. So Mike's brought this. What's that? my ears here so after we do that we got to load my truck up we're gonna go do a delivery we got it has to be stacked in a guy's shed so I said I'm oh, Mike why don't you just bring a load over so we're gonna load up some of my brother's wood my brother brought me a pile from the uh, from the tornado that's a bunch of locusts he brought so we got to go load up that, but this is going to take a good hour, so we got to get going. Not really enthused about stacking it, but like I say, once that, once we're all stacked in here, then we throw it on the ground from here on out. I'm going to try to get you in a spot where you can see both of us working. We both work. Somebody just said good morning. That's Jeffrey Weiss. Billy Otis is here. Got my drink ready. Got my drink ready for my union breaks. See, look, he's almost got one filled up. Hopefully that's not one of the wheelbarrows that falls over. I don't think it is. I think that, that's the one over there, I think. But yeah, I'll be stacking over there while Mike splits. Just like we've did before, we'll let Mike set the pace. Yeah, I need to get over to Eric's and cut some of his wood, some of his ash out in his woods. Is that Randy Clay? Hey, Randy Clay, you out of the hospital yet? Oh, people said, where's Mike Ben? I said, probably playing games. I think it, it was the Olympics this week of game players. And that's what he did for the week, two weeks. Or did you work on your truck, your, your mother-in-law's truck? You got a family to take care of? Yeah. All right, I 
let's get these over here. Yeah, could use some air. I don't know. We got three blue. We got three blue uh, wheelbarrows, but one of them wants to tip over. I'm not sure. I can't remember which one it is. Dry. Yeah, this stuff's going to be dry. Watch that video I posted of Jackson showing Mike how to work. Jackson was hauling, moving some wood. Got the one piece of cherry. Oh no, that's still oak. Could almost fill up the wheelbarrows as fast as I could stack them. Give my shout out to Maryland and uh, and Canada. Hi, Maryland. Watch every video. Watch the replay on YouTube and then comments every one. We like. I like when people leave comments. Mike, I, need, I really could use some uh, bundle grade wood because uh, you know, I got to make another 20 bundles over here. That, that's not even half full. Summer rush is here. Speaking of summer, I just seen the forecast for next week. Thank you, Gabe. In the forecast for next week. Then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's going to feel like it's in the 90s. Today it's like 60 degrees. Nice breeze. We're in the shade, so we're staying cool. Monday, fun day. Now, right, right when Mike got here, I got a call from a customer I hadn't bought for, I think, I don't know, at least two years. He just ordered a truckload. So he wants it on Thursday. Starting to get low on uh, summer campfire wood. Ugh. 
so I know Phil's got some. Smite can't find any. But we have been getting a lot of rain and Mike hasn't been able to get out in the woods cut. I step on my shoelaces, my boot laces, my boot laces, and they come untied. This, this little oak, even though, yeah, oak takes forever to dry, not when you find it like this. This will be ready by winter. But by December, this is going to be good and dry six months from now. Especially the pieces on the outside, you know, where the bark was dry. I gotta tie my boots, retie them again. Seems like it's always my left one too. Stand on these uh, fumbles right here. Reach it better. I buy some of my brother's wood for uh, the delivery Mike and I gotta do after we get done splitting this. Put the stack in this. Oh, is that the big one? Yeah, look at the size of that one, folks. You know, you know the big one's got to put pieces back onto the tailgate. That's not in that one. I'm gonna finish up this piece and then I'm gonna start stacking again. Hit it. Just because it's in the center. Oh. Now I think you guys have seen this video before, even though it's live, June 10th, 2024. But a lot of the days, you know, there is variety in this job, but then a lot, it's the same thing over and over. Why am I over here? I need to get this stack. We're going to run out of wheelbarrows. easier stack it when it's up here. Only got, you know, one more row on this rack. A little bit more to put on the bottom down there. But yeah, uh, this rack, this rack will basically be full. Full as I want to get it today. And then he'll bring me one more load for this corner. And then, uh, 
then we can just throw everything in here. And then I might just have them, well, I don't know. I just think it's so much better splitting it right out of the truck. Even though I've got to pay them extra for that. I mean, he's, he brought me over a half cord. He said he put a little extra in it this time. If he had help loading it. Making some firewood. Might shove a couple up for him. Move some here for him. Only nine watching. What's up with that? Only nine watching. Randy Clay's watching. Richard's watching. Judy Krell's here. We got the we got the crew here today, folks. We got a good good crew here today. Throwing up some pieces for him. Whoa, that almost fell out. Okay. Yeah, there might only be nine, but we got a great bunch of people. You make that them nine people real good people. Give yourselves a thumbs up, folks. Facebook just is not pressing out my videos unless you like comment them or like them. You just don't. They just don't show them. They don't put them on people's news feeds. Well, when you're scrolling, ever, right now I got 50,000 followers, and every one of my followers should be able to see this. But I guarantee you they don't. It's pissing me off, too. I remember, I don't think I've ever had over 100 people watching at once, but when I first started doing live streams and 2021, you know, I, I would get up in the 80s, 80 people watching. Splitting fire was more exciting than uh, making bundles though, ain't it? What else you got to do on a Monday morning besides work? John Manning here. John Manning, I get Manning. I guess he lives in the UK, England. That's all some of the bird crap. My mom brought a rag out, but I think it's dried up. Oh well. This, this bird crap will deteriorate by the time we sell it. By the time it's burned.
I see the, the one piece of cherry. There it is. That the only one? You know, not including what I could buy for my brother, probably down to about, well, six, six or seven joe cords of summer campfire wood. As long as Mike can get in the woods and find more dry, we're okay. You know, if I have to sell ash for summer campfire wood, I do, I will. There's the cherry. That's the cherry you just put. Okay. No games played today. That's right. That's why I wear this hat. Remind him. Somebody says it sounds good. Or oh, Tim Willock. Hey. Say hi to Tim, Mike. Say hi to Tim Willock. He says Mike's not playing games today. Hey, Tim Wilwock, got a message from uh, Kent Miller's girlfriend saying oh, Kent's all broke up because I blocked him. I really shouldn't be leaving ignorant comments then. Maybe he's trying to be funny, but he's not.
mows, mows lawns and he's got two million followers. I think that's boring. I don't know why people think this is boring. Outdoors with Eric. The dollar's buddy. Red oak, back into the red oak. Oh, I pretty much got to start that other row now. Can't run a saw every day, folks. If you missed yesterday's live stream video, you need to uh, watch the replay. Told Mike I needed his help going over there, cutting the limb with it there. That's some nice looking stuff right there. That's real nice looking. That's premium, folks. Getting ready for, almost ready for a union break. Oh, we're up to 10 watching now. We're up to 10 watching. Yep, Mike and I are Team Orange and Blue. Team Orange and Blue, right, Mike? He's wearing his, uh, he's wearing his uh, Patty and Jeffrey up, up Mount Top Outdoors t-shirt today, and I got this is uh, Bill Moon and Backspin Graphics made for me. JPF t-shirt, an older one.
I'm not going to be able to pay Mike the money I owe him today, but I'll, I'll be able to pay him for his help for today. The load word, I'm delivering. So, uh, Mike's going to help me deliver. Joe Corver has to be stacked inside the guy's shed. Get two two hundred forty dollars for. He's about twenty miles away, twenty twenty two miles away. around this weekend. We make a pretty good team, folks. What do you think, Judy Crow? Mike play games, Judy? Does Judy ever say you play games, Mike? Judy? <laughs> Judy, Judy doesn't give Mike a hard time. You see that comment I did send you? Where's Mike been? Playing games? Paul got what he can reach with that hook of ruin. And you gotta, we gotta walk up to the cab of the truck, roll the rest over. to make it. I know he's been having some health issues too. So I don't think Craig Wilson's been stopped by much. These are cut pretty short. Cut them. The work, they're like 13 inches.
after Mike and I load my truck for the delivery, we get about a about a half hour break driving over to the customer's house. That'll be our big union break. He's got to move them off. You watch that while I get this stack. to get them out of the way. That was good. Yeah. Guess he's got a mess to clean up. One we're in it in the in the debris barrel. On the ground there. Whoops. Happens. It happens, folks. Oh, better power back up. There he goes. Takes me longer to stack when I'm doing the bottom row. Once I got up to this light, then I, I go faster. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the, the junk wheel barrel. One of them fall over. You can see it leaning pretty heavy to the left. It wasn't how I said it either. Got Ten watching. Oh, 
But Denise Williams is here. I was wondering about you. that wheelbarrow. That'll keep them busy for a minute, folks. That'll keep them busy. I didn't see it down there. It goes. Try to put too many on, and we end up playing games. The game called Pick Up Sticks. I'm not talking as much. We're trying to get concentrated on the, on the task, the task at hand. Well, it had a piece of mom rhubarb pie yesterday. That was really good. You like rhubarb pie, Judy? You guys know how to make rhubarb pie? that there. He's, he's doing the good there. And I can just bring this over. Let me get this empty. And I'll put that in the good spot. It'd be so much better if we got that, those walls done, Mike, and then I can just throw these in here. Yeah, I don't have to mess with these 
wheelbarrows. Yep, one more load. One more load to fill that corner up. Yep. I'll take I'll take oak. I'll take oak like this. So and then but then anything else that comes in here has got to be like ash or dry. Yeah, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're filling up with this this oak, but then I I'd only bring dry stuff. The dry stuff in the front. I'd rather I'd rather fill up bay one first. You can find any dry wood. found in the trash talking about the wheelbarrow You know, these racks here, you know, four, besides being four foot tall, these, the two outside ones are eight feet apart. That center row is like nine foot apart. So there's more than a full cord once this is, you know, once this row is filled up. Which I sell for 400 bucks. And if somebody want all this right now, I'd say $400. Got a handful left to do. I'll get them up close enough for him to be able to grab them with the hook of room. do some maintenance on my truck soon. There we go. Oh, we're up to 11. Woohoo! Seven people watching on Monday morning. Probably after easily it's about 11 30 now it's still morning technically
you've got to make sure you share out these videos on your social media. Now, just hit the share button. People have a chance to see it. Some of the older people, my mom, me too. Sometimes she can't figure it out. She's gonna be 83 in August. in a bank deposit basically it's money in the bank right there I'm stacking folks it will sell no doubt about it look how high quality it is five five left Five left in the bed. What time is it over in the UK, John Manning? Afternoon, probably, probably about supper time. About lunch time here. Have red oak over in the UK. Some nice flowers like this. Six months of, I'll probably be loading this up into my for delivery. Hopefully by then I get money, no money to fill this sucker up. But the pain, it, you know, it's a great for storing the wood, but it's a pain to load, load the truck and to put it in here to, to, when you have to stack it. Once you got to throw it, it's not bad.
pick up some of this debris I can reach. Two left, two more. I'll just take this over and dump it in my mom's pile. Mike, Mike can move his truck forward, pick up that debris, put it in here, and we'll go dump it over there. Then we gotta go load my truck, go deliver it. This guy's been buying from me for years. For years. He usually makes his own uh, maple syrup, but for some reason they didn't do uh, maple syrup this year. I think he was changing jobs, didn't have the time to spend out there by his, uh, oh, whatever that's called. It, it uh, boils the wood for uh, maple syrup. I always want to call it a regulator, but it's not that. Something like something incubator. Incubator. You know what I mean. This is the last piece. I don't think I'm gonna fit in here. So go ahead and let Mike just put the rest in that other wheel barrel. Probably not going to be all the way up to the top, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm done stacking it in here. At least on this rack. Stack it in the in this back corner wall. You can pull forward and start loading up your saws. Yeah, because we're just leaving your truck here. Then you come back and get that. I said you can pull your truck forward. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. You can reach it from there. Okay. Yeah. Get, get that mess. Pick up sticks. <laughs> yeah, the piece. He was throwing the pieces forward, and it landed in the wheelbarrow on the side and just tipped it right over. And you just push it out. There you go. Thrust that way. <laughs> You know where my mom's pile is. You know, right over there. Can you get by it with your truck there? Yep. All right. Look, that's full. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm calling this full. Yeah, normally I put pieces in the middle. I'm messing with. Then you can just. Yeah, yeah, you just lean up against that. Okay. All right. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, one more load will fill that up and. Yeah. 
I like talking to. Yeah, sure is. <laughs> yeah, I, the guy came to me. I know just first, I, but he said Jason Sager. I sent Jason Sager there, and he said I didn't get. He didn't get a good feeling about that guy. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Here we go. So, truck's empty, except for the debris. He's got to load up that. We got to load up my truck. But as far as I'm concerned, that's full. That's full. Yeah, it's 99 percent full. We got to fill in this corner. You know, it'll be like stacked from there to there. And then that's it. Once you can see, all three of these rows are full. Mostly oak, but there's some cherry in there too. And then, uh, yeah, low, next is bay one next. And then they're just like that. And only dry wood goes in here now. So, yep. All right, folks, we got to put this stuff away, load up my truck, do a delivery, yada, yada, yada. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Thanks for all the thumbs up. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Mike's sitting there standing in the sun. Bye, Bye Mike.